every season I get a wreath form that is the most requested out of all of them. Can you guys guess what you requested this season? Hands down, every social media platform I have, I had request for this beehive. So I'm going to do three of these beautiful bee wreaths. Before we get started on the wreath, I did want to mention one thing. Using deco mesh on a wreath form like this is next to impossible. I'm not saying that it's impossible. Of course you can do it. But the thing is, we're not going for something hard, difficult, that's going to look like a nightmare in the back of your wreath. We want something simple. We want something beautiful. And that is what I'm going to attempt to do in this video. Here's the reason. It is a singular shape, meaning there are no two lines to kind of give, you know, if you are going to do a bow, to give that bow a support. And if you're going to wrap it, it's going to slide because everything is a wave. It's just going to slide. So that's why we're just going to go for some simple, beautiful designs that are going to be perfect for your spring. Let's get started. Let's go over the supplies we're going to need for this wreath. Of course, a beehive wreath form. Then you're going to need some sort of fabric or felt, whatever, as long as it's about 12 by 18, because that's what's going to cover our beehive. I'm using some old baby breaths and then some of these dripping blossoms. Next, you're going to need some Spanish moss and of course, some ribbon. One and a half inch white ribbon, then some yellow and black stripes. Both of these are wired. This one is not wired. It's from the Dollar Tree and it has sweet little bees on it. We're going to start by hot gluing our fabric to our beehive. I found where I want to attach my wreath form and I'm just going to start going underneath the actual wreath form and start hot gluing our beehive in place. The beehive is attached and I'm just going to cut all the excess fabric from the sides. After my beehive is all cut out, I'm going to grab a pencil and make the little entrance for my bees. I know it's hard to see, but my circle is right there. Now I'm going to grab some of this Spanish moss. For this next part, I'm going to grab some finger protectors. I got these at the Dollar Tree. The first thing I am going to do is I'm going to attach the Spanish moss on my entrance. And I'm trying to keep it shaped. Now I'm going to start attaching my Spanish moss on all the wiring. For this wreath, I decided to make a layered bow. I'm starting with my striped one and I'm getting about six inches. I always want to make sure that I give it a little bit more, especially on the simple bow that I'm putting at the bottom. Because my ribbon is one-sided, I'm going to just measure off five inches. Then I'm going to go back to the center and we're going to twist. I'm going to go five inches on this side and then twist. Every time you go to the center, we'll have to twist. I've got four loops. Then I'm grabbing my white ribbon. This is what's going to breathe a little bit of light into my bow. And white is always such a great addition to pretty much any bow you do. For the white ribbon, my loop is going to be four and a half inches. I'm only making two. The reason I made my second ribbon half inch shorter than my first one is because this one, I just want to go left and right. And then these are going to go one on top and one at the bottom. I want to do four loops of this ribbon, so kind of eye where you want it to be and make sure to check the measurements. I'm measuring at three and a half to make sure that I do the same thing on this side. I'm going to very carefully gather it, grab my zip tie, and I make it tight enough where it's not going to fall apart, but not too tight where nothing can't be moved. You always want to attach your decor piece in between metal. So I'm just going to put my awl right on top, putting my zip tie right in so I don't lose the spot. One at the bottom. And then before I attach, let me make dovetails super quick. So just fold the tails in half and cut little triangles. 
After attaching, I'm just going to cut the tail off and then send this little nub to the back. To hang the wreath, I'm going to try something else right there where my zip tie is. Because this is not a heavy wreath. This is really light. I'm just pulling a piece of wire through, twist it in place, kind of knot it, twist it around the actual loop. There you go. I have a little hanging loop right there. I want to decorate it very lightly, not too much stuff. Cut off the excess that I don't need. I'm just going to hot glue it in place. And then I'm going to grab one of these stems, cut off all this excess. That's just to have a little bit of yellow, just a little bit, little bit, because we have plenty of yellow. We want the white to stand out, but I want that pretty little yellow flower to be there. So let me hot glue that in place. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side. For the finishing touch, I'm taking some of this baby breath, I'm going to cut it at the actual stems right there. I don't need any of that other stuff. Curled up in a little ball, put hot glue on it, and we're going to put it in the center of our sweet little bow. And it's going to cover up the zip tie. I have to admit, my friends, I am in love with this wreath. Here are the supplies we're going to need for this beehive wreath. A beehive wreath form, this one I got at the Dollar Tree. Then you're going to need a piece of felt, fabric, burlap, whatever you have on hand. It needs to be around 12 by 18 inches. That is how big this one is. I got this one at Michael's just as a separate sheet. Then I'm going to use these berries from the Dollar Tree and I got these at fall. In this case, you can just use anything continuous like this. There are some spring florals that are pretty. The only thing is, is you want to make sure that it works well with whatever fabric or felt that you're going to use. Then I'm going to make a bow, so I'm going to use some yellow and white ribbon. And for the center, I'm going to use a little sunflower. If you're making a beehive wreath and you don't have a bee, because sometimes they're hard to find, like in my case, or they're a little too expensive, using sunflowers is a great idea because it works really well with the beehive theme. I promise you simple and easy, and that is what I'm going to try to achieve with this wreath. I'm going to start by just going underneath and attaching. And just like that, the beehive is all attached and it's nice and smooth. And now I'm just going to go around and cut off all the excess felt. And now we have something that looks like a beehive. I'm going to bring in these florals and I'm just going to take off the tops, the actual berries. I only have two bushels of these and I do wanna make sure that I have enough for everything that I need them for. So the first thing I'm going to do is decide where my bow is going to go. And I want my bow to be right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by working from the side of the beehive. I'm going to hot glue them like this. Since my bow is going to be right here, the end of this is going to get covered. This next one, same thing. I'm going to start from the corner. This is not covered by berries at all. So I'm going to remove that. Going really nice and heavy on the hot glue because I want to make sure that these berries are attached really, really nicely and uh, they will hold on real well. Press and hold as I'm going along. There's no need to hurry. And then I'm coming in with the next one. I decided to grab an awl and I'm going to go in this section. This is where the wire kind of goes down and we're going to go right here in between. Now I'm going to put some needle pliers through. And I'm going to do this side. Two bushels of these is more than enough. If I wanted to, I can still finish this 
up or a funky bow, the best thing to do is use some wire edge ribbon. So I'm going to be using this beautiful two and a half inch, then one and a half inch, this yellow and white stripe. This is one and a half wire edged white. I'm going to be cutting all my ribbon into 20 inch strips, two each of the yellow and then three strips of the white. Measuring off 10 inches. And now I know where my 20 is. Just getting two strips of this one. For the endings, I am going to do dovetails. All my ribbon cut up, two of each in the yellow, three of the white, 20 inches each. For this next part, you can use a bow maker if you want. This will make it just a little bit easier, I guess. I just do it in my hands, find the center, hold it in my hands, and just layer everything. Then I'm going to grab the white. Once again, find the center, and then we're going to face it out the other way. Let me bring in the wreath maker so you can see how I do it in the wreath maker. It's basically to hold it in place, that's all. And then I'm going to use this one, and then I'm going to face it the other way. So far I have loop, tails, loop, and then same thing on here, tails, loop, tails. I'm going to continue doing this, starting with the yellow that we started, and now we're going to go on the other side of the bow. This way you have a yellow loop on each side, Side, and it's pretty nice and even. Now the white ribbon, the yellow and white. Bring it together. You can use anything from floral wire to zip ties. For those who watch my channel, you know that I'm partial to zip ties because it's something that I just trust. It's not going to go anywhere and you can do it in stages. You saw me. I clicked it a little bit, then I moved things around and I'm going to continue doing that until I feel like it's nice and tight. Cut that tail off. Next, I'm going to grab some chenille wires because I decided to make little picks. These are like the really fuzzy ones. Next, I'm going to grab some of these felt circles. I found these on Amazon. They're one inch in diameter and they're not that expensive. Grabbing my pipe cleaner, going to add some hot glue on one end, put a little felt circle right there. Then I'm going to fill it with more hot glue and put the second one over it. It's going to look like you bought it. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side. If more of this pick is going to show, you can definitely put more of these felt circles on the actual wire, but I'm just using two because it's going to go in the back of the bow. I'm going to make two more of these. By the way, if you don't have these circles, you can definitely cut them out or make little stars or hearts or whatever you want. I'm just going to use a permanent marker so you're going to see where I'm going with my zip tie. Just about there. Grabbing my awl once again. If you don't have an awl, no big deal. Just use tips of scissors or something else that you have that's sharp. I'm going to start and end in the front. Putting my zip tie in and out. Then I'm putting these cute picks in. Then my bow. I'm tying things in, not too tight. The sunflower is on really, really tightly. So I'm going to leave it alone and there is a clip right there. Taking the clip and I'm going to put it around the zip tie and I'm going to zip tie it tighter. Squeeze in there with my end nose pliers and cut the tail. As you're opening your bow up, keep in mind some of your ribbon is one-sided. So something like this, I'm just going to twist it as close as I can to the center and just start fluffing out the bow. Let me know how you guys like these homemade picks and you saw that it took me, what, a minute to make them? It just makes the bow look bigger and more festive. How fun is this? I did decide to twist my picks at the end, so that's exactly what I'm doing. A few more nips and tucks here and there and we are all done with this beautiful beehive wreath. For this beehive wreath, I decided to go a little bit eclectic, a little bit glam. We're not using the standard beehive colors. I think it's going to 
turn out very pretty. To get started, I'm going to be using a beehive metal wreath form from the Dollar Tree, a fleece scarf, a beautiful floral ribbon. It has little polka dots on it. And then here comes the glam. I wanted to try something different. This is one of those stretchy ribbons. I got this at my local Hobby Lobby. It wasn't that expensive. This is three yards. We'll see how much is left over at the end. Here's a little bonus tip if you have some of this left over you can just grab how much you need either hot glue it or I would highly recommend just sewing it in place and you have a headband for yourself for your child your grandchild and they come in different colors different styles this is really really a fun ribbon to work with I'm going to be hot gluing the fleece to the back of our wreath form and I'm going to be doing it in stages because obviously this is not white enough to go this way so we have to go the other way I decided to modify my wreath form just a little bit as you can see the circle that's the top I'm going to go to the bottom and as you can see it's just welded on right there because I don't want to disturb the rest of this wreath form I'm going to hold it nice and steady with my other arm I'm just going to kind of wiggle back and forth that bottom section until it becomes loose there goes one and there goes the other one you saw that I did that really quickly. Now I'm ready to hot glue things on. I'm going to cut little sections just so it's easier for me to work with. I'm going to start hot gluing my felt to my actual wreath form. Since I'm doing this in sections, every time I hot glue a section on, I'm going to go ahead and trim it around. The felt is on, all the excess is cut off. So the first thing I'm going to do with my ribbon is I'm going to make a little door for my little bees. Starting with a little bit of hot glue. Of course, you can make it as big or small as you want. I'm doing two stripes of hot glue so it adheres nicely. I'm going to repeat the process. How cute is this? I told you I was gonna give you glam. Next, I'm going to do all the wires on the inside and then we're going to finish off by going all the way around in one swoop. Just hot gluing the last of the ribbon. Look at the gorgeousness of this wreath. The pink and the gold were so so beautiful together now I'm going to grab my ribbon and I'm going to make a four loop bow and I'm going to keep it on the small side make four little loops squeeze it together in the center bring the zip tie in grab one of these roses and I'm going to try to find the biggest one cutting down the little tail a little bit hot glue it to the center grabbing another one of these roses and hot gluing it just like that you can put it anywhere you want maybe you want it on top i want mine on the side just like this hot glue it in place and that's it for this gorgeous and glam beehive wreath to hang this wreath i'm going to use the method that i use a lot to hang a sign two scraps from the felt that we cut off the second row from the top a dollop of hot glue jute cord cover it with my little scrap do the same thing on this side and we have our hanging loop Leo, do you have a favorite wreath from today's video? No? Do you have a favorite wreath from this video? Let me know in the description box below. You know, I always say, if we all like the same thing and we're the same, this world would be so boring. And that's why I love that we're all so different and beautiful in our own ways right if you love wreath tutorials like this please don't forget to subscribe like and hit the thumbs up button leo we're not done yet hold on hold on stick around we're not done if you would like to see more wreath tutorials right now leo has prepared two videos for you right here thank you leo and with that being said we will see you in our next video 
Bye, my friends. Leo, say bye to everyone. Mwah.